Hello, people out there. I am back on my hunt to try and find a large diamondback water snake. Today, I am in Covington, Louisiana, on the Bogofalaya River, swimming in the river to see if I can find any snakes. <laughs> Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> there we go. That is the diamondback water snake that we've been looking for. <laughs> His head was just sticking out the water. <laughs> Would you look at that? We finally got one and he is biting the crap out of me. <laughs> and he is biting the crap out of me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna be bleeding like a mother in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be bleeding like a mother. <laughs> there we go. Yep. We finally got a snake. Yeah, they're not venomous. See y'all, they bit me all on my arms and so I'm gonna be bleeding like, bleeding like hell in a minute. No, that's not my dog. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been trying to find one of these snakes for, for a while. It's this, it's, this river been, has been very absent of snakes lately. I would say I've never seen any in here. Oh. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to say never, but recently I have. They definitely used to be more common. Right. Yep. We finally got a snake. And I am bleeding. Well, I could be bleeding worse, but I'm definitely feeling it a lot more than what it looks to be. <laughs> and he is a looker. He is an absolute looker. It's probably one of the better looking ones that I've caught this year. I've only caught a handful of them. This is the biggest one that I've caught this year. It's about, actually that one I found on the Ibiza River eating that catfish was actually a bump bigger than this one. And uh, see if he's a male or a female. Um, diamondback water snakes are sexually dimorphic in their chins. They're, uh, in the males, they, they get these bumps on their chins. I'm not sure what those are for, but I see he has no, she has no bumps, so this is a female. This is a female diamondback water snake. So we are going to keep on looking, because I will get back to the bank and take some pictures of this snake. Cause this is a pretty good looking snake. And then afterwards I'll come back up here and release it. With no luck on the river, I decided to head to Mandeville to the Mandeville Lakefront to a spot where I have reliably caught many large diamondback water snakes. Hmm. There is one. I see one. There's a snake. There's a big diamondback. We do have a diamondback in the water. Oh, it's swimming this way. Good size. There he is. Oh, I got him. Look at that. There we go. We got a diamond back. <laughs> That's not a giant. Not a giant diamond back. But we got one. <laughs> Had to walk all the way to the end to the lake to find one. There we go. That is a good size and good looking. Diamondback water snake. <laughs> and she ain't too happy. Oh. <laughs> hey girl. I just wanted to say hello. Get on rocks that aren't wet and slippery. But yep, that's a diamondback water snake. And if you take a look at her head. Her head is actually pretty flattened out in a triangle shape and that's what they do as part of their defense mechanism to uh, mimic a venomous snake and most people that will actually work on most people they will mistake these snakes for 
cottonmouths. I've even seen them being mistaken for copperheads and rattlesnakes. But normally their head is in a round shape and when they get mad, they'll flatten it out into a triangle. And they're called the diamondback water snake because if you take a look at her back, it's got like a diamond-like pattern going down her back. She must have just took a drink of water because she's got a lot of water drooling out of her mouth. She must have just took a drink. Yep. We're looking for one a bit bigger than that. She's a she's a, uh, the biggest one that I found thus, thus far. She's a good uh, about three and a half feet. And she stinks. <laughs> and she stinks. Yeah, I've been coming out here a fair bit uh, this year and uh, just can't, haven't found them out here like I used to. I don't know what it is about this year. You know, a couple years ago, I'd come out here and I'd find big ones like it's nothing. But that is our target snake, not the target size. So we're gonna get back on the hunt for one bigger than this one. Sometimes my targets can pop up rather unexpectedly. This snake I managed to actually find while I was gar fishing. All right, unfortunately my camera was not on for this. I'm out here gar fishing and I come across this big old diamondback water snake. And this makes the biggest one that I've caught this year so far, but it's still not the big one that I'm looking for. I'm still looking for one a little bit bigger than this one. But man, this is a big and beautiful one too out here in New Orleans. All right, unfortunately, I was not able to capture this snake on camera because I was not even out here looking for snakes. I'm out here guard fishing and I found this big old diamondback water snake down here in the rocks and scuffed myself all up trying to capture her. But yeah, here we have the diamondback water snake. And it gets its name because it's got this diamond-like pattern going down her back. Absolutely gorgeous big female. And I know she's a female. Females are a lot larger than the males for one and two. Some people don't notice about diamondback water snakes, but they are also sexually dimorphic in their chin. If I get it by the head, and you can look underneath her chin. I'm not sure how well the camera can capture that, but you see her chin is pretty clear. And on a male snake, there will actually be these bumps. There will be these bumps underneath the chin of a male snake. I'm not sure why that is. I don't think anybody knows exactly why, uh, why the male snakes have those bumps. But these are also the largest species of water snake, commonly reaching up to lengths of five to six feet long. This one is just over four feet long. She is the biggest one that I've seen this year so far. I'm still trying to find one a bit bigger, so look for one of at least five feet long. But this is a good size one. Four feet is a good size one. And I believe this is the first one I've caught. I'm out here in New Orleans right now. I believe this is the first one I've caught out here in New Orleans. Yeah, these are large snakes. You're among the, they're probably one of, they're one of the largest snakes we have here in Louisiana. And um, their habitat usually consists of river systems. You'll see these snakes commonly on river, rivers and other large bodies of water like lakes and stuff like that. They love rocks. If you can see around me, I have rocks around me. I'm at a canal right now. And they love rocky areas. They love to bask on rocks. They're also the most arboreal of the water snakes. You're commonly seen climbing into trees and stuff like that more than any other water snake. It was funny enough regarding their large size. All those stories you hear about um, people saying water moccasins falling out of trees into their kayaks and canoes is more than likely these guys and not cottonmouths. Cottonmouths are not able climbers. They can climb but they prefer not to climb. And this one doesn't have too bad of a disposition. She did bite me two times, but 
Normally water snakes have a pretty nasty disposition, biting all over the place and such. They'll also flatten out their head into a triangle shape to make themselves look like a venomous snake. And a lot of people will be fooled by that into thinking that it's a venomous snake. Actually, the guy across the canal thought that I had grabbed a water moccasin, actually. And this is not a preferred habitat for a water moccasin. She's kind of flattening out a little bit, but when they're really angry, when they're really not happy, it's be a lot more flattened out, much more, much more dramatic. These guys typically prey on fish and frogs, just like all water snakes. On the diamondback water snake, they love to prey on catfish. They are commonly seen eating catfish. I have a video where one's eating a catfish. I found that snake on the Abita River. But this is a good sized snake. Not the real big one I'm still trying to find. You can see just over four feet long. We're gonna get it back in the canal.